hello friends welcome to get our tutorials today we're going to learn about a very very important questions which I always ask in the 10th CBSC board exam which is based on the metals and non metals class 10 so the first question is name an alloy of aluminium used in construction of aircraft lead in joining metals for electric work copper used in household vessels so the first name of the alloy aluminium alloy which is used in the construction of aircraft e is duralumin duralumin is the name of alloy of aluminium in which uh, uh, four constitutions are present aluminium 95 percent copper 4 percent magnesium 0 0.5 percent and magnesium 0 0.5 percent so duralumin is a name of the alloy of aluminium which you use in the construction of aircraft the second alloy of lead is solder that is the two constitution of solders are lead 50 percent and tin 50 percent the third copper used in the household vessel is brass the brass is an alloy of copper in which copper is 80 percent and zinc is 20 percent the second question is define an alloy and an amalgam second is state the main constitutes of the following alloys example stainless steels and bronze in which property is each of them different from its main constitutes so that we have to define the alloy the alloy is a homogeneous mixture of two or more metals or non metals and what is meant by amalgam amalgam is an alloy in which mercury is the one of the constituents is called amalgam so we have to give the now what are the main constitutions are present in the stainless steels the st stainless steel an alloy of iron chromium carbon and nickel it does not get rusted whereas iron easily rusted as iron is a soft uh, to change the property of iron we have to mix iron with chromium carbon and nickel we get stainless steel which have strong and never corrode the second bronze bronze is an alloy of copper and tin will get the bronze it is a less malleable than copper and used for making coins and statue etc the third question is name the examples of three common forms in which metals occur in nature how do these metals interact with dilute acid so we have to give the examples in which three common forms uh, metal occurs the three common form in which metal occur in nature are the first one is sulfide form that is the example is copper pyrite formula is copper fe cu fe s2 and the second form is oxide form the example is bauxite aluminium oxide al2 o3.2 h2o third one is carbonate form that is example is calamine zinc carbonate so here we got the three common form of in which metals occur in nature so the next asking question is uh, how does this matters interact with dilute acids as we know that active metals generally interact with dilute hcl or dilute h2so4 to evolve hydrogen gas for example zinc plus hcl give rise to zinc chloride plus hydrogen gas as well as magnesium plus hcl give rise to magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas so i hope you like this video if you want to see more videos kindly subscribe my channel get a tutorial and if you want to join my online classes kindly comment in comment box thank you very much